Hi friends, welcome back. This is Santosh Kumar. Hi, welcome to all of you again. Friends, today we are going to start the state space analysis. Till now, what we have finished? Nyquist plot, polar plot, border plot, root locus, RH criteria, time domain analysis, SFG and all, isn't it? Now, we are remained with only two units. State space analysis and compensator and controller. Okay. So, at this moment of time, my heart is saying, when I finish the Nike's plot, polar plot, body plot, root locus, I should come with the comparison among all these methods. So everything will be crystal clear to you people. So I'll do that, don't worry. But uh, what I'm thinking is after finishing the state space analysis and controller compensator, I'll come with another unit in which I'll cover the miscellaneous topics. So many concepts are there which are frequently, you know, uh, you know, confusing actually. So, I'll cover all in that unit if time will permit me. Let me start the state space analysis. But before that, mm, nowadays I'm getting so many emails. People are appreciating my efforts. Thank you to all of you people. And people are saying that your, your, your lectures are, you know, uh, totally based on the gate, on the line. No die, no why, no right, no left, on the straight. So, in the, my starting lecture also, I told you people, this is strictly based for the gate exam. So, so study, enjoy the study, practice, start, start the practicing, work on the ATM, no ATM, no success. You cannot turn this on your notebook everywhere, anywhere you want. Okay, no ATM, no success. Start ATM. So, now. We'll start the state space analysis. What is this state space analysis? This is not a big deal, okay? Very easy deal. It's a kind of, you know, suppose. Let's take an example. Suppose you are going somewhere. You are, you know, living in Mumbai and you are going to Delhi. Okay. And how you are going? You are going by your bike. Okay. And what you are going to do is, Okay, I think this example will be critical. So let's understand it like you are going somewhere from your home to 20 kilometers away by your bike. You have one liter of petrol. Isn't it what your father will say? Your father will say you are going from uh, somewhere 20 kilometer away. It's okay. No problem at all. But while coming, please, please take the petrol. Okay. Why? Because he knows who your father knows that one liter petrol will work for the 40 or 50 kilometers only. So when you will go 20 kilometers, when you will come 20 kilometers, you will be having no petrol then. Isn't it? So again, if your father will go by your bike, he will not have the petrol. So that's why he, suppose he is saying you, Please take the petrol while you will come again, okay? Why he is saying? Tell me. He is already, you know, forecasting something. He knows. Straight space analysis is kind of that only. Here we know about the system, how system will work, how system will give the output, and how system can react to particular input. We know about that. How we know? We know based on the present input and the past history, like your father knows that after coming back, you'll be having no petrol. That's why he's giving some input to you, isn't it? And how he knows all about this? Because he has that knowledge, the past history he knows. So according to the control system, you know, the, it, it, it gives the future behavior of the system based on the present input and past history of the system. You can compare this with the example I have given you, isn't it? So, state space analysis, you will be having system, circuit basically. In that circuit, you will give some output, so you will give some input and by the state space analysis, you can, you know, I will not say the prediction, it will be forecasting of the output or your system behavior based on the given input and the past history, isn't it? Now it will be good to understand the past history of the system described by the state variables. 
state variables what are the state variables the past history whatever we are going to you know see in the system is nothing but the state variable later i'll clear don't worry the next point is the past history is nothing but the initial state or the initial condition past history is nothing but the initial state and initial condition and if I'm talking about the initial condition and initial states you know very well you studied in the control system well defined by Sohel sir isn't it so if you are talking about the initial condition and all so your system will comprise by register inductor and capacitors isn't it this will be your system your system will comprise by the electrical element isn't it one is your register one is inductor and one is capacitor the combination of all this so what i'm saying is the past history is nothing but the initial state or the initial these two elements inductor and capacitor they are the storing device or not they'll affect the system or not that's why we you know studied the entire chapter of the initial state condition in the network theory why because these two peoples are affecting the system the output of the system why because they are storing something they are storing some data and when you are giving the input to the system the output is not coming based on the input no not at all whatever the stored data they stored based on that and based on input you are getting out isn't it so the steady space analysis is nothing but to analyze the system based on the present input and the past history history isn't it got it now the register circuit circuit don't have any state variable state variable what are the state variables state variables are nothing but the the elements who describe the past history how many state variable can have in this equation in this circuit whatever whatever I, I have chosen over here two one one is capacitor second is inductor because they can store the data isn't it so the state variables for this circuit will get two later i'll illustrate don't worry so the register circuit don't have any state variable because output is depends on input and present value of the system we know very well the register is not the memory device it's memory less device it will not store anything short term memory loss this is amir khan of gajni the register don't have any memory whatever the reaction of the register is its present reaction based on the present input and present value of the system isn't it but this l and c they are not gajni okay the register circuit is called the memory less circuit this is the memory less circuit you can call it gajni okay okay now now number of state variables how many state variables you can have in the equation how you will give in the equation or in the circuit i'm talking about so it's well defined you understand what are the state variables state variables is nothing but the the systems or the parameters which define the past history of the system who are going to define the past history of the system inductor and capacitor so here two state variables you have for this particular question so in the definition also it will reflect sum of memory elements gives total number of state variables capacitor and inductor the circuit you have chosen over here for this the state variables are two why because one capacitor one inductor okay and if, I, uh, if suppose instead of electrical circuit you have the differential equation so in the differential equation the number of state variable is nothing but the order of the equation if you have the equation like d square y plus dy plus y equal to something so this order is nothing but the number of memory elements it means it means this is nothing but the state variable so state variable is nothing but the sum of memory elements isn't it 
sum of memory elements i think it's clear to you people now now how to resolve c you know sometimes what will happen let me take one circuit so it will be clear to you people the register i'm taking inductor i'm taking and here this is capacitor now my next question is how many state variables what you will say you will reply two okay now the circuit is kind of r inductor inductor capacitor capacitor to capacitor like this like this now i'll ask you how many state variables you have so i know you know the answer i know don't worry but if you will think that you have four variables so this is incorrect why because here this is resolvable you can resolve this two things the inductors are connected in series so you can make them one you can add them if this is four this is five it will be nine so let's take it a equivalent this is the register similarly you can resolve them also this two also isn't it you will come with the single capacitance equivalent now check the how many elements in the circuit you have in the circuit you have two elements only so please remember this you can conclude the state variables based on the memory elements no doubt at all but the memory element should be separable means they should be separate if they are like this you can resolve them so first resolve then check now the third circuit i'm taking in this third circuit you have inductor over here again inductor and capacitor like this now if you have this circuit you cannot resolve this l1 l2 c2 and this this is i'm taking you know the capacitor i'm taking c1 now you cannot resolve this circuit so here i'll have state variables 4 okay so here you will definitely get the fourth order differential equation okay friends so this will affect the system and you will having only uh, you know the four state variables correct now let me start the state variable so the standard form of the state model is the standard format of the state model is given by this equation this is the differential term okay ax plus bu and here i'll give the output and that is cx plus du now now this equation we call the state equation this equation is nothing but state equation or you can say this is the dynamic equation also dynamic okay this is the differential parameter this equation this entire equation i can call the state equation or the dynamic equation okay what about this this is surely we can see this clearly it's output equation it's giving y isn't it now this x if you'll talk about this is nothing but differential state vector this is differential state vector okay and if you'll talk about this particular y only i'll i'll say this is the output vector okay now now what is this a what is this b c and d so the a is state matrix state matrix okay b is b is with input so it's input matrix okay what about c c is the 
see the output matrix and this transition matrix okay so means some input terms are going to be in output equation so it's a transition of the input parameters kind of okay now let's come come to this this is nothing but our representation of the system where multi input multiple input multiple output representation is given over here to this system suppose we have so many inputs i'm taking u1 u2 up to m so can i say these are the m inputs yes these are the n inputs inputs from this system i'm taking output so can i say the p outputs yes to this system i have number of state variable these are nothing but the state variables okay so can i say i have uh, n state variables okay so see what the state space analysis is all about your system you have okay no problem to this system you are applying input okay hame koi problem nahi you are taking output okay no problem but this output is going to affect by the state variables state variables is nothing but the memory elements the initial condition provided by the memory elements the initial value of the capacitor oh, sorry the voltage or the current provided by the state variables isn't it your output is going to affect earlier we discussed in the circuit example the output is not coming by the input but because of the stored uh conditions also stored current or voltages also isn't it so this is um, now you will check see now i'll construct my equation this is a into x plus b into u so what will be the order of this if this is in matrix form i'll write this order of this is nothing but n cross 1 isn't it this x is going to represent all state variables this is the state variables but this is the differential state vector okay so what about this x order of this x this is the x state variable how many state variable you have number of state variables you have n and all you are writing in single it's kind of like x1 x2 xn you will write here isn't it it will be n cross 1 what about this definitely this will be n cross n why because this will be square matrix you are going to write all this equation when we you will open this what you will get n cross n you will get over here isn't it now let's come to u the input m cross 1 clearly shown over here m cross 1 so what the b will be the b will be b relate the state variables also so order will be n and it's going to relate to input also so this is m n cross m will be the order a b matrix okay don't worry in the question i'll tell you everything i'll clear everything okay now the output equation that is y equal to cx plus du u is same no change that is m cross 1 x no change x n cross 1 now what is this y this y is nothing but p cross 1 now this c is going to relate with the output and state variable so p cross n if i am right p cross n yes definitely what about this this d is going to relate the input and state variables so means output variables output equation so p cross m okay everything will be clear don't worry now what we are going to do in this unit actually so state model you understand now state model the state model is nothing but this ax plus bu and y you 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 need to come with this form only if you are you know 
doing your system or I can say the converting your system in this form it means you are in the state space so CX plus DU okay so what I mean is the state model we can write for this four things the differential equation suppose you have a form of like uh, let me write the differential equation y this is the triple differentiation double differentiation single differentiation this is the equation so in the examination we will get this equation they will ask what is the state models so they will not ask this entire thing they will ask what is the value of a or they can ask what is the value of c so we will learn this okay in the transfer function in the transfer function mode they will clearly give you the transfer function means transfer function is nothing but in uh, output divided by input so this is the transfer function they will give like 2 s cube plus 4 s square plus 6 divided by s to the power 5 3 s to the power 4 5 s cube 5s cube plus 7s plus 9 this is the form of transfer function now they will give this and they will ask what is the state model so for all these things we are going to find out the state model now the SFG SFG they will give some SFG kind of like this R and C and they will say find out the state model so we can do the state modeling for this also and the electrical network in the last electrical network they will give electrical network like this and they will say find out the state space state space model so for all these four things we can find out so in the next lecture we are going to find out that only okay so for new updates you can subscribe gatematic please don't forget to like and comment you can find us on the facebook for doubt solving, we will meet in the next lecture. Till then, take care and bye.